Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome back to the Thunderdome. I, I have to tell you, this is going to be a fun video, but I literally... <laughs> I could not make it through it without just dying laughing. Like, I've tried over and over, and I'm like, you know, th it's just crazy. So instead of just going through and trying to do the pop-up or trying to do the top 10, um, you know, to find the best, because I have more than top 10. In fact, I'm going to have to make probably two more videos because I got a slew of DMs just saying, oh, look at this one, look at this one. So, you know, I took the first grouping I had, and then, you know, I'll make a second and a third. Um and just so, you know, the, the companies don't get angry, you know, we're, we're aware this is in the past and I'm sure you have a new IR person now. And, um, you know, this is no slight against the uh, the companies or the CEOs or whatever. It's more just for fun for shareholders. You know, this is the OTC markets, you know, where it's all about fun and, you know, the excitement and so forth. But, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be a good one. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and just start pulling in. Uh, pictures from the tweets that I snapshotted instead of trying to embed them on the video just because trying to edit all those it's just it's just taking too long and I was like I need to get this thing out so uh, let's rock and roll so the first one uh, we're actually gonna pull up let's see let me move this up okay all right so we're gonna bring in UAMM so we we know that UA they've done um, crypto in the past and they talked about possibly doing ev and you know all that cool stuff and then you know now they're uh they're putting shareholders on lotteries they're like hey if you're a shareholder you're, you're part of our crypto scene uh you know here, here's here's the lottery tickets so uh let, let's win the big money um so that one was pretty funny as well so let's move that one up this one this one has me dying so this is <laughs> I guess he's the CEO. I don't know who he is, but he says big week for Ardar, and then he said, and somebody pointed out said reverse split approved, bad week for shareholders, and he said maybe a bad week for you, not me. Laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I I I just I can't like it's just too much for me. Um, next one we're gonna pull up. Uh, this is IJJP, and uh, yes, I'm running a public company since 2003 October. It's cost me 30 to 60 thousand cash per year. I was ill from 2016 to 2018, incurred medical bills. Well, I certainly hope you feel better and are doing well. Uh, you need me to spend my cash to allow you to trade to keep the company current. Not one of you have offered even one penny. Okay, you know, fair enough. And then uh, let's move to uh, AXA. Axel works hard to convert any bags into treasures. God willing, our strategy will bring fruitful results. As you see, we're on the path. We have succeeded to secure great assets. Revenues growth approximately 50 million. Next steps are in work, you know, to shareholder value to maximize yada, yada, yada. And they, they've always been a fun one. Uh, you know, they, they have nice revenues on their their uh, filings. And I just, they're, 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 uh, they're something else. All right, who we got down here? All right, so this is a two-part. Let me just pull this up. So this is from um, JTBK. So they actually put out a PR that said, we would like to provide an update regarding the status of the company. JTBK is currently a non-binding due diligence and negotiating with a seller where both parties have 40 buyers in terms, assets totaling over $1 billion. So I remember this because everybody saw $1 billion merger and this thing ran ballistic for days and days and days. And, um, you know, with 45 day period, yada, yada, yada. And then it says Jet Black is currently in two of the negotiations, which are potentially smaller transactions. Yada, yada, yada. So exciting times. And everybody's like, wow, that's crazy. You know, this thing, you know, let's keep on watch and see if they get this transaction closed. Then it, lo it looks like we may not come to an agreement with the seller of a bigger acquisition target. But as we stated today, we are moving forward with the goal of getting a purchase agreement on a small acquisition. And then somebody says, how much smaller are we talking? Does it still have eight figures of rev, seven figures, six figures? So I'm sure that was a letdown. Um, but, you know, I, I know uh, JTBK is working hard behind the scenes. You know, they're trying to get a good merger there or actually I don't even know what they're doing anymore. So don't even take that word for it. All right. Next. Th this is one of my favorites. So this was back a couple of years ago. Um, to the people bringing the stock down, unless it is back to where it was, we will not do the filings. You will end up with zero. Thank you. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they did go to expert market. I'll have to check on that, but that's just, it's awesome. 
I mean, it's terrible if you're a shareholder, but, you know, I'm sorry. Um, so we're going to pull up uh, our buddy Tigers here for a second. So this one's from the new Fanu. If you remember the old Fanu, uh, I don't even know what they did either. But the new Fanu says, we can take a little sass, keep it coming. We're about to yada yada, whatever they're going to say. And then Tigers says, about to add more shares. And no, no more shares. So everybody's like, okay, you know, maybe maybe dilution's done. You know, the cash range is done. And here we go. What, was it, what day was this? 621? Here we are in uh, 622. Okay, June, 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 June. Ooh, that, lo that looks pretty significant. So I guess things have changed. But, you know, it's OTC. So and then this, this is a good one. This one needs no words. No words at all. So if you remember uh, Justin Costello, you know, this is when um, he said he couldn't get to something or a merger or filings or whatever it was um, that he was in the hospital. And, uh, you know, they had him next to a tank and all kinds of stuff. And, yeah, that was a, that was a crazy one. I'm going to save this one for last because that's one of my favorites. All right. So let's move over to this. Got a couple of screens here I'm pulling these down from. PPGA shareholders. Uh, we need to take PPJE share value to 03 to 05. Then we can get all the money we need and more. Thank you for all standing by. You are highly appreciated. Run it up, boys. All right. And then we have... Uh, IDGC. Hello, Elon. Uh, IDGC became your biggest EV battery competitor. They are created nanocell, which is 95% of nanomaterial. Only 5% are critical metals necessary for an unlimited supply line. Tesla will begin seeing critical mineral supply problems in one year. And there is a follow-up to this. I think they went on and uh, touched base on a little bit more and, you know, talked to Elon and were like, hey, and I think they said our stock was going to be a 50 bagger or something crazy. Um, but that's fun. All right, so let's see. Let's move into the next one. Uh, HPNN. So I don't know too much about HPNN. I, you know, I had somebody send me these, and all of these are actually sent to me by the the lovely OTC traders on Twitter. Um, so shout out to all of you guys. You know, I really appreciate you helping me put this video together because couldn't have done it without you. So you know, if you're a company and you're you're watching this video and you're pissed off, uh, you know, hey, let, let, it's just a joke. Relax. But he says, I am working with a new attorney to write the proper legal opinion for RTC markets. Exciting times for our company. I would look forward to pay my day. No reverse split. No shares have been issued. I'm going to kill the shorts. I don't even know what that is. Elevate your game. But uh, it's just bizarre some of the things that, that get tweeted out. Here's another one. This one's awesome. Uh, HPNN, the truth always comes out. Looking forward to our software update. And some of you will see who is behind the alpha site as well. When we turn the site on, yada, yada. And then, you know, just sporting the pink. Looking good, my man. Looking good. Just doing it up. All right. And this is this one's always been one of my favorites. So this is USEI. USE is far from dead. Even though it's been over a month, we have many folks working behind the scenes and a great plan is at work. So this was in uh, September 1st of 2022. And let's go back here. So this is actually June from 2022. Let's break this open a little bit. So they've been saying they've had a plan for a while. Worst day ever for you is the apologies manual delinquent state, restoring USA, and this is when it went expert market. And then they said three things happened the same time. OTC and filings, unexpected SEC and Nevada bills, and Bank of America closed all six of their accounts because of frozen crypto. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry to USEI. I hope you guys uh, get it back on track. But this is my favorite. This, this was the best one from USEI. Toxic debt. WTF. Zip. Zero. Nada. Never. Liars. Liars. No debt. No increase of authorized shares ever. At max. Liars. Liars. Pants on fires. <laughs> I, just, I just. Oh, my God. Oh, it's too much. Oh. All right, so next one. So this is this is Tamino Minerals, Tino. Um, so they've been talking about, and it's bizarre the the left or right that we get from it. They'll say, "Yeah, we address a problem in Montreal, crooks," and then they start talking about the justice system, bad example. Then all of a sudden they follow it up with Tino's on the verge of making groundbreaking news. It's like awesome. And then uh, look, we have Tino again. Tino announces that two. Socks of gold would be awarded to one who provides information of its whereabouts. A reward would be provided. Our CEO is looking for two socks. Someone saw them in Camino Road. <laughs> rewards, rewards, points, black swan evaluation. Oh, man. Uh, but I, I think this was my favorite from 
Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 we're not done. We're not done. Bank of America created problem for America. Wire transfer fraud. Chief of police. Yada, yada, yada. So, uh, Tino has been on it. But this, this is my favorite one. This is an opportunity. What are you waiting for? Are you, like, stupid or what? And, you know, it, it's always funny to see the uh, the comments that come from these. And that's what really just it brings the camaraderie in the OTC markets because everybody gets excited by it. Now, this one is uh, the old MRNJ. Um, I know they had some, some wild stuff in the past. And maybe new IR, maybe new CO. Like I said, I haven't done too much DD on it. Just, just posting what I'm being sent. And, uh, you know, we're all having a laugh because that's what we can do. Um, well, for free lifetime memberships, all our current and upcoming AI service are the person who tweets the best image got out from the, the generator. Uh, so I think that's the new one. Let's see what else we got from them. And then, you know, Paige Shorts and Bachelors just wrote a song for you. So they popped up a YouTube song. Anyone chilly? Let's burn some shorts today. And yeah, there's always a theme going on in the OTC markets. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, we love our Canadian friends, but you have to like your your commie leader. We've hired Canadians in the past, great with ethic, amazing quality, too expensive because of the communist country you live in now. And this is a this is a good two parter right here. So, if you believe in American Constitution, they want you to shareholders. You vote a Democrat. We kindly ask you to move on. We don't want your kind. And then somebody said they followed up with. Focus on the catalyst of PRs. We don't care about your politics on a business page. F you sell all your shares now. Oh, man. But, you know, that that was the old MRNJ. And, uh, you know, they, they kind of moved on from that. So, you know, whatever happened, it was crazy because I remember that happening. I think it was on Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas. And um, I just remember talking to a couple people in chat. And they're like, oh, man, my, my shares are not going to be good on Monday. But I don't even think it sold off that much. I think it dipped a little bit and closed flat. Um, and that's what makes OTC special is a lot of people don't care. They, they like to play the catalyst and they know there's tons of opportunity. Um, so let's see, I got, got one more today and, uh, it is my favorite. It is, is one thing that I just, it cracks me up every time. And I know a lot of people are familiar with this one. Ijex Mineral Company. Do your shorts, short trolls, mega stupids, and funny haters. Do you think we'd be talking about mergers if there were no mergers in the offing very soon? Signed, Sergio. Mergers, AK. Video announcements. Congrats to me. <laughs> so it's just, you know, it's too much. And um, so like I said, this it's just fun to kind of compile these together, talk them about a little bit, just say, hey, look at all the things we've experienced over the years and, you know, all the issues we've had to deal with with these companies just go wild out of nowhere and you know they get in arguments with shareholders but they always correct themselves and the stock always ends up doing well again um unless you're one that's gone on expert market which i think a few of these have um so you know i'm sure i'll end up having a part two to this video maybe even a part three um i'm also working on the top 10 catastrophes that we've seen in 2022 everything from gap downs uh failed mergers the custo craze that just got burned out um, all the way to uh, the CE, the caveat emptors, which just came one after another. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video. You know, if you want, go ahead and like, subscribe, shoot me a comment down below. And then, uh, you know, if you want on Twitter, throw me some more of these and we'll keep them rolling. That way, you know, in the future, we can look back and say, oh, yeah, remember those? Does anybody have that screenshot? And be like, hey, you know, Chase has a video of all the ones. But I'll tell you what, man, I'm going to miss Sergio. <laughs> Stupid some, some mega trolls. Uh, but that's it. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you on the next one.